Hello, welcome back to another phonology class. I had some technical issues today, but I managed to fix them, fortunately. All right, we were looking at rule notation in the previous class, and we were learning how to read rules. That's important because we read technical books on linguistics. Now, before we start with, we continue with uh, rule notation, I would like you to take a look at this. This is page 50 in your manuals, and it, talks, it is a chart that covers all the sounds that we have studied before. Now, in order for you to know the names of the sound, this is not the B sound, it's actually the voiced, you can see here voiced, bilabial stop sound and this is not the H sound it's the voiceless glottal fricative sound now this one is the voiced palatal affricate sound and you read it like this okay this is voiced Palatal, glide, and rounded lips, like this. So this chart is super useful so that you know the names of the sounds. Now we need to go back to rule notation. Rule notation is unit 3. Okay, this is unit 4. It's unit 3 here. Okay, and we were looking at these rules. Now... Remember, I assigned you to read the rules, and I read, read with you four of them. Yes. Is it four? Yeah. So, number five. The, the T, phoneme, but the name actually is the voiceless alveolar stop sound becomes flap in the phonological environment of between vowels, okay? Between vowels is very general. You, we can say after a stress, a vowel, after a vowel, because the underscore is there. Let me enlarge this if I can. Okay, so after a vowel. So this underscore represents the T sound, the flap sound. The flap occurs after a vowel and before an unstressed vowel. Notice the, the minus symbol means not stressed, unstressed vowel. That's how you read. The number five, the voiceless alveolar stop sound becomes flap in the environment of after a vowel and before an unstressed vowel. Number six, the voice alveolar stop sound, this is the name of the phoneme, voice alveolar stop sound, becomes voice interdental fricative in the environment of, in the phonological environment of after a vowel. Notice that this is after. This is what you need to master. After, before. After, before. Okay? After a vowel. Number seven, the voiceless velar stop sound becomes voiced velar stop sparantized. Sparantized. Okay, this shows sparantization. That radita shows sparantization in the environment of between vowels, but between vowels is too general. So after a vowel, and um, no, it's not between vowels. After a vowel, and this is after, yes, after a vowel, and before a minus vowel. What do you think minus vowel mean? Minus vowel. If it is not a vowel, then it is a? Yes, you're right, a consonant. So, how do we read this formula? Number seven, the voiceless velar stop sound becomes... Parentize voice velar uh, stop 
in the environment of after a vowel and before a consonant sound. Right? Yes, there are many ways in which linguists write these formulas. One way more exotic than the other one. Eccentric trick, I would say. All right. The voice by labial stop sound becomes nasal, by labial nasal, voice by labial nasal, in the environment of before a by labial consonant. Before a by labial consonant. That's how you read it. Next one. The voiceless interdental fricative sound becomes voiced interdental fricative in the environment of between nasal consonants. Between nasal consonants. And remains the same. Look, remains the same. Look, is the same. The phoneme is identical to the alpha. Remains the same in what environment? Elsewhere. Elsewhere means that it can occur in any other environment that has not been previously mentioned, meaning that it's not between nasal consonants. Any other place, any other environment which is not nasal consonant. Finally, we have the voice palatal uh, fricative sound becomes voiceless palatal in what environment? In the environment of intervocalic position between two vowels. That is uh, the answer key, okay, regarding that. Now we're going to go into today's lesson. Today's lesson is write these English rules with rule notation. Okay, so let's do that. We're going to do the opposite now. We're going to read the formula and we're going to use symbols to represent them. The first one says, the voice alveolar stop consonant sound, meaning voice alveolar stop, this one, becomes, okay, I'll copy this from here, becomes, Flap. I need to change the font. In the environment of intervocalic position. I'll change the font again. Intervocalic position between two vowels. The voice alveolar stop sounds consonant sound becomes Lab in the environment of between two vowels in intervocalic position. Number two. The voiceless alveolar stop consonant sound, meaning this, becomes Let me change the symbol. Becomes. Oops. Becomes. Palatal fricative. Is this the palatal? Becomes voiceless palatal affricate. Yes. In the environment of before high back vowels. So I need to change the font again. In the environment of before. high back vowels. This is the formula. The voiceless alveolar stop sound, consonant sound, becomes voiceless palatal affricate in the environment of before high back vowels. Like this. And that's it. One more, and then you will do the rest. Okay. The voiceless bilabial stop consonant. Voiceless bilabial stop consonant is this. 
becomes voiced becomes voiced the voiceless bilabial stop consonant becomes voiced means becomes voiced bilabial stop which is this after it doesn't say in the phonological environment of it just says after voice consonant so I'm going to write voice consonants like this but I need to show that it's after voice consonants it becomes B be after voice consonants after voice consonants like this it becomes and now I need to use the symbol so here again it becomes aspirated I'll change this again in the environment of syllable initial position like this syllable initial position before a stress vowel stress vowel before a stressed vowel and remains the same so it doesn't change at all in what environment elsewhere meaning in any environment which is not after a voice consonant or a, in syllable initial before a stress vowel in any other environment so this phoneme has three different allophones, three different variants, three different pronunciations. Okay, so this is how we do it, how rules are written. Okay, you have six, uh, three more to do, so please do them. Okay, and I would like you to, that's my WhatsApp, I would like you to read your textbook an introduction to language and I will tell you which page so that you can read these rules. If you have questions, let's use WhatsApp. Okay, see you soon. Goodbye.